What's up guys? I just finished my body beast uh, shoulders, chest, and tries workout. I feel extremely awesome. I feel pumped. I'm excited that it's Monday morning. And we have so much incredible things happening inside of our team. I just uh, filmed a short little video clip for one of our leaders, Kiera Elise. She has advanced her business to Two Star Diamond. I just got a text from one of our brand new, co uh, brand new coaches uh, who will be advancing her business to Emerald Rank. Uh, on Thursday, so we're super pumped for her. That's Tiffany, who I met down in Paradise Village. Uh, and then also I got a text from one of our brand new coaches, Melissa Zeidler. It's her second month. She's at Success Club 10, which means she's helped five new customers or coaches uh, each month uh, since last month when she started. A cool thing that I want you guys to understand about Melissa is she was a coach with us back in early 2012. Uh, life happened, uh, non-supportive spouse, all of that fun stuff, and she dropped away from Beachbody and coaching. However, her text this morning was just showing how grateful she is uh, to be back with Team Beachbody and how it's really helping her stay the course and focused on her own health and fitness as she reaches out and helps other people on their journey. So that collaboration of working together and accountability is what was the missing piece uh, as she walked away from Team Beachbody a while back. And now she's back crushing it and we're super excited. I have some thoughts this morning. I've been thinking about uh, a lot about how people are willing to stay in a job that is unfulfilling and that doesn't bring any joy to their life. And now I get it, having a job, having a career, paying the bills is all important. And it's necessary and we should be grateful when we do have those jobs. I've done many jobs that I hated or disliked um, during my life. When I was 13, I was up at 3.30 in the morning moving pipe in the potato fields. I, I worked in a steel factory where I would wear coveralls, come back with metal shavings all over me, digging out mud tanks for the, the CNC cutting machines. And, and it wasn't that enjoyable. And what I want you guys to know is that I left those jobs. I left those jobs and moved on. But what I want you guys to think about is there's, you might be thinking there's risk though. There's risk in leaving my job. And, and I get that 100%. And, and I'm not telling anybody here to leave your job and I'm not gonna tell you to come do Team Beachbody coaching with me. What, I'm, what this message is to you is that there's gonna be risk in anything. There's risk in the job that you have right now. You could get laid off, your hours could get cut back, you could be replaced by someone else, right? But the bigger risk that I think in the end is the risk of getting to the end of your life and having a huge sense of unfulfillment of, man, I did something for my 40 years of my career that I didn't enjoy. And I think it's very important that you find something that aligns with your purpose and your passion that you can enjoy while your time here on earth that can also earn you income and money. Whatever that is, it could be teaching, it could be, uh, it could be coaching, it could be uh, serving as a nurse, whatever it is, make sure that you really dig in and think about what it is that you wanna do with your life. The next thing that I want you guys to know is that there's gonna be risks when you try something new as well. You might fail, you might uh, not, you might try something out and it might not be as rewarding as you think it might be. But the thing that I want you guys to, to think about is like you can do your job and your career that you're doing right now and then in your spare time, instead of watching Netflix or endless hours of YouTube. I heard a funny joke the other day uh, when, when we were talking about quarantine with some friends we haven't seen in a while and we're like, what have you been up to? Like, what's been going on these past couple months? And the answer was, well, I think I finished YouTube. And, and it was funny and we laughed in the moment, but how much time are we wasting? Like, if we're not happy at our job and we're miserable and we regret Sunday evenings because it means we have to go back to work on Monday, why don't we take those extra times when we're, we're scrolling through YouTube and watching Netflix and all of those things and spend that really discovering what your gifts, talents, and passions are and working on improving your life and, and growing yourself and your capabilities and your capacity so that you can go out and make yourself more valuable and then go on to really truly do something that you love. Because the last thing that I want for you, my friend, is that you get to the end of your life and realize, man, I have so much wasted potential and I didn't truly do the things that I loved while my time here on earth. That's my quick message for you guys today. Have an incredible day. It's Monday and uh, you have a whole week ahead of you guys to take consistent, constant, forward action towards your goals and dreams. See you guys later. Peace.